I am so pleased to be working with Austin Pedal Cars on this project. Their help and support along the way is going to be so helpful. If you have got a pedal car or you're restoring one yourself and you need any parts for it at all, click on the link in the description below, visit their website and you'll be amazed. They've put a, a huge amount of effort into reproducing anything you could ever need for these beautiful little pedal cars. Let's get into the video. Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. Thank you for joining us. We're back in the workshop. Um, look who's here. Hi everyone. <laughs> Honest John. Hi. Um, now we're in trouble. We're carrying on with the pedal car. We have, it's almost lunchtime now already because we've spent the morning remaking the boot floor. Um, I wasn't really happy with it. John's turned up and agreed with all of my concerns. Jeff Moss at MPH Motor Panels watched last week's video and I spoke to him in the week and he's guided us through and was like, everything we did wrong, he's helped us with. So Mark II is underway. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be better, isn't it, John? Absolutely. We've improved tooling. We've made some new, new tooling to us sort of round the ends of the beads off. The, the problem was we put too much pre-stretch in the panel. Way too much wheeling. I got carried away with the ranola. So we've amended that and the new one is coming together it's looking good so we're going to quickly finish this off and then we can actually get on to the actual day's work of patching in starting some work on the long side panel which i'm looking forward to oh oh my oh. word oh oh perfect let's see well, close enough What are you doing? Are you going? Yeah. There's plenty to go though. Cool. Oh, it's tipping nicely. That's much since that's after my modification. Yeah. But that's fine, that'll do. Well done. Right, whilst John is there working away, I have got some big news. Ranella key rings are back in stock. I've got 200 of them here at the workshop, packaged up and ready to go, and they are on the Ranella website now. There's only 200 of them. Last time they sold out within the first hour, so get onto the website if you want one as soon as you can. These new batch of key rings are identical to the first batch made by Steve at uh, Nelson and Forge. So we've been keeping him busy. He's been sewing like crazy, <laughs> stitching these all together. I'm sorry I can't manage more than that. It's just purely down to, it's only me that has to package them all up. Unless John, do you want to fan fancy being a... Yeah, yeah, John, you could be dispatch manager. Yeah? And no, we can't trust John. <laughs> get on there quick and order one. Bear with me, the delivery will be within, I would say, I'll get them shipped within a week. Um, I'm very busy at the moment. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, I'm chuffed and uh, it all helps. Every key ring purchased will go in the little jam jar to the aero engine fund. So it's much appreciated. <laughs> yeah. Just think, you know, one key ring might get me a spark plug. Try that, gently. Gently, John. No, but it's good. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's nice. Best one so far, look. What have I got here? Is that one of your new Ranella tool posts? Oh, such a nice tool, isn't it? Look at this. Look. Very sturdy. Now. <laughs> whilst uh, things are ticking over quite well here, 
let's have a little break go back down to the repair shop uh, we're going back in time a little bit because it was during this week that i've just been filming um, but there was the bodger's ball pole lathe wood turning clog making clog making all sorts of stuff um, it was brilliant there was a few bits there for sale a few tools for sale i tried to buy some but they sold before i got there um, but yeah so we can pop back to the repair shop and let's have a wander around the field in the sun looking at some of the bodgers Bodging. Bodging. <laughs> Where are we, Dan? We're at the repair shop. At the repair shop. But it's lunch. And throughout the week, there's been more and more people turning up in the backfield, setting up tents, setting up camp. And I've been curious to what on earth has been going on. And then they've put signs up saying Bodger's Ball, which made me think it was a dance. Did you know what it was? I thought it was about badgers. Oh, badgers. No. Is it badgers or bodgers? It's bodgers. Dan thought it was a. I thought it was a dance. You like thought people it was. People who make things. Bodget and Leggett. Bodget and Scarpa. Yeah. Right. Anyway, this morning on the way down, I saw Ch uh, Shannon. Uh, if you've uh, watched the first series of Make It at Market, you'll know exactly who she is. If you haven't watched it, then go back on iPlayer. I'm sure it's on there. She was one of the makers that uses a pole lathe, which is like a wood turning lathe. Well, I mean, it is a wood turning lathe, but it's not powered by a motor it's powered by a branch a piece of string and a pedal you sort of push up and down on the pedal it bends the pushes the string up and down bends the it bends the branch you know what they are Dan it's pole lathe pole lathe so sarcastic so I've seen Shannon she said it's a whole fair and there's someone making clogs and there's blacksmiths and there's I think a hat maker it's not actually really open yet they're still setting it up but I thought we'd have a little look around come on Dan let's go and have a look like Glastonbury. No, it's not like Glastonbury. Brenton, if you could do any of these crafts, which one would you do? I'd quite like the look of the bow and arrows over there, actually. That's no, because they're called, aren't they called Fletchers? They are called Fletchers. You can't no, do that. I can't, can I? No. <laughs> okay. Look, you can make rakes. I could make rakes. Yeah. I like the idea, I like quite like the clog makers myself. Or an axe. A like yeah, axes. yeah, yeah. It's nice to see all these rural crafts still going, isn't it? It is. And not a piece of uh, like machinery in, in sight. What are you up to? Uh, I'm shaving. You show me? Oh god, okay, I could do it with a trim. <laughs> what I'm doing is making some bits and pieces for hay racks. And the reason I'm doing that is that in four weeks time we have the Green Scythe Fair, which is the National Scything Championships in, Sur in Somerset. So I think there's and a, there's a championships? Yeah, there's an, yes, there's an English Championships and there's a Northern Championships and there's an East Anglia Championships. Do you championships. compete? I used to. Okay. I did win the English style championship Did you? several years running yes well, congratulations and well, i've mowed a quarter of an acre in two hours and 20 minutes well, with one of those vintage with one of those yeah yeah the english ones we stopped making in the 1970s and really the technology stopped in the 1950s as, as yeah. the industry started to decline well, are you so making a handle here i made the handle here so that handle there on the big one yeah that's mine there you go and that's a hundred year old somerset blade on that so you basically have different Pick counties yeah okay and they'll all be set up. And these are it's all pole laving. It's pole laving, but then you have different demonstrations like the shave horses and yeah. different kind of carving things, maybe spoon making or hurdle making. Fantastic. What on earth are these guys up to? So these guys are our broom makers. Brooms. So Raleigh's come over and she's teaching everyone how to make their stick brooms. Sorghum. Sorghum. So it's like what we get millet from, but it's oh. specific for brooms. It's grown for brooms. Yeah. So the common name is broom corn. It's grown in the UK, I guess. Uh, no, I am, so I'm importing it from Mexico. It is originally from Northern Africa, has had some history in mainland Europe. And nobody really grows it here anymore? No, there's a few folks like maybe doing some like backyard bits and growing, but... Um, and they just dry it out and then... Yeah, and then it's dried and processed, but it's specifically for brooms. So it's the same, if you were to buy a hard, hardware store broom oh, made of natural stuff. materials, it's the same it's stuff. It's the same stuff. Yeah. It's just it's, it's not just it's, it's not typically bound like intact anymore. So yeah, okay. So this is them. like Appalachian style brooming. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, love it. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Hello, everyone. 
big news. Um, it's midweek uh, from filming the repair shop. Well, to say a big thank you to you all, actually, first of all. Look what's turned up in the post. You know what this is. You've all seen how many followers we've got. And this has been a massive amount of work uh, for myself and Dan. Every single Sunday for about three years now, we have not missed a weekend. Uh, and thank you so much to everybody for all of your support over the years, for watching the videos, clicking that like button, subscribing. Um, it honestly means the absolute world to us both. We've both put in a huge amount of work to, to, to make the videos. It's a massive amount of work every week. We've both got full-time jobs as well as doing this. So I've taken Dan out to the pub. We're gonna get a beer and let him open it and have a little bit of a celebration. Hey! Oh, happy days. Why am I opening this? Why are you not opening it? Because you have edited all the videos. Oh, it's car Mike's here as well. Probably doesn't oh, want to be on. Probably doesn't want to be on camera, but he's yeah, the sound guy. Doesn't want to be related yeah, okay. to the sound. Yeah, that's it. The sound guy from the repair shop. Very little input. Oh, wait. oh yeah. <laughs> no, you've actually contributed at uh, the pumpkin carving competition. Oh yeah. There you go. Should Quality sound from Mike. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Foam. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. This award was packaged by Rick. Oh, Rick, Cheers, thanks, Rick. Rick. Get rid of all that. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Don't get fingerprints on it. It's beautiful, Dom. You happy? Well done, mate. Well done. Very well, good. Well done to you. 100,000. Look at that. So you're happy? Very happy. Well done. Oh, well done. Well, look, there you go. Cheers, all three of us. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Well done, boys. Clink. <laughs> Second time's a charm. Exactly. Mark two. Mark two. Spin it around for us. I see the back. Lots of markings out, but. Look how much flatter that is. It's happy, isn't it? I mean, yeah, a bit of flex, but by the time that's in the hole and spotted in. Well, should we see if it fits in the hole? If it goes between that. This is what I said on the last one. The fact that it fits between that shaft, the, the jig isn't moving. So as long as it fits between there. What? That'll do, won't it? Thanks for the advice, Jeff. <laughs> It just goes to show how the experience that Jeff's got, one 10 minute phone call with Jeff, a couple of pointers, turning a tiny little step on the bead roller die on the bottom one has given us a much, I mean that tipped over so much easier, didn't it? So a massive thank you to Jeff and just goes to show if you're interested in learning metal shaping, book yourself up for a course with Jeff and you'll learn years of experience in a much shorter time. Time to start the side panel, can we? I've been itching to do it for so long. Come <laughs> yeah, on. Let's do it, let's do it. Left or right? Left. Okay, there you go. I think, the, I think the left is the worst one. So, yeah. Oh yeah, let's get in the deep end and we can do it again next week. Straight like in. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of work. But then you turn it round and you think, how? How can it get worse? And you see all of these repairs that have on top. Strange repairs are spot welded and hammered and then patches. Amazing. And also you can see where, when it was together, mm. although it was completely sandblasted, how the corrosion's still in it. Yeah. And so you think you've got, you know, a completely rock free car or panel because it's been blasted, but where it can't access beyond another panel is, um, at least, it's, I mean, fantastic. How, how is this bit still on? Yeah. <laughs> I think for this exercise we're going to start at the bottom. We're going to start on this bit. Let's turn it round again. Because when it sits down, this is true and that's true. So I think if we start, we've got a swage line here, so we've got to be careful of this. We don't. I that's mean, solid up there. It'd be nice to keep good, as much as we can. Good metal. Good metal. I've done all that is. I think that's meant to be there. We right? can feel that. Yeah, no, that's not supposed to be there. Is that not? No. Okay. Well, we'll get that in the arch. We'll cork that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think we try and get this bit in because we have got quite a lot of reference and we've got the other blue car to template off of. Transfer those to steel. 
cut that out, shape it around, hammer it around. Hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll have that piece welded in. Let's see how we go. Let's not jinx it. That's going there. He's done it. Then I'd like to go, I'd like to go, that might be two in two. There. Then I'm gonna go across to there. Right. This is a mess. Yeah, you can't go this low. You're gonna to have to go on that edge. No, we can't go on the edge. Of course we can. How do you feel about that? Well, completely, um... So if we, if we had, um, well, he's drawing now, it's getting creative. And we could have a skipper up there. <laughs> That's it. And this is where we can put all the fish. The out outboard motor. Oh, a little port hole. Oh, oh, it's like, oh, it's a fish. Oh, okay. Tugboat. It's, it's a tug. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. That works for me. Hang on. There we go. The anchor. Perfect. That's a man. That's a man. Oh, he's jumped overboard. Is, he? is that you? <laughs> <laughs> we need to now take the tracing paper off, add 10 mil around the bottom edge because it's got a little rolled Sorry. return. Maybe 15 mil. Let's be generous. You, you know, do I always. like generous. I, I'm a very yeah. generous guy, you know. Let's do a bit hey, more. Why cut it once when you can cut it twice? Exactly. Transfer that to steel, cut that out nice and generously. Yes. Uh, and then start trying to wrangle it into shape. Fantastic. Mini wrangler. Does this see? The first maiden voyage, the first panel of, of rolling. Why not? Yeah, let's see what happens. Look at the boy go. There it is, half moon. Can you see? Yeah. And it feathers out. Yeah. To flat. Rolled. Is that wow. going the right way? <laughs> Mate, I think we've definitely flared the arch now. If that's what you mean. Going for the wide arch. Look, you know, you've gone the air. <laughs> this is more complicated than it looks. Um, Add to that the pressure, the pressure of having only one day to do it and trying to film it and make sure we've got a video. I wanted to get this welded in place. This bit, slight roll. This bit should have a bend down there. Practically straight, just following that arch around like that. We shouldn't have all this out here. That should be, that's not even a thing. But the reality is, we may not get that far. Um, so I think we just overcomplicated it. We've overcomplicated it. So we're going to try it. Mark two. That first one is going in the scrap bin. Luckily, I've got another piece of steel that's just big enough. So, but we've only got one more try. Otherwise, we're really in trouble. Is it doing things? Well, it hasn't tipped, but it, it's a definite, definitive line. Oh. oh my life! Back her up. Oh. Tell us, but not step in it. It's there though, isn't it? All right, should we see what we can do with that then? You'll be pleased to hear that panel two is looking a lot, lot better. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get it welded in today, but 
at least we'll get it made. Um, it's looking good. We've tipped the edge, we've used the bead roller and with its new modified lower wheel to kind of put this brake on the edge and give us a start of a tip and then just use the hammer on the dolly to send it around and complete it a bit more. And then I'm just using this uh, shrinker, the hand shrinker, these like jaws that pinch the material together and shrink it back together. And that sort of, that, in, that when you, once you've tipped that corner around, it brings it back in and pulls it back in. Look at that, that is starting to make sense, isn't it? Absolutely. We've certainly turned a couple it, of corners. It was, a, it, was a, yeah, it was a sharp <laughs> S bend, but we've made it. Mark II is fitting so much better, it's brilliant. Time to clamp it to the original panel and I've made a little cardboard template of the inner arch profile to make sure that that round and the radius bleh, that rolls in to the sort of seal is the same as the original. And that's going to give us a height, which we then clamp in position, line up the back, and then scribe the new panel to the cut lines on the original panel, trim it to size, weld it in place. That's easy. simple. Easy. Yeah, make it sound so Easy. Yeah. Easy. That panel is fitting really well. We've spent, honestly, maybe nearly an hour trying to take measurements from somewhere on this body. It's such a hard thing to measure because there's not a straight edge on it is there the, anywhere uh, it's just full of curves and the original side had so many so many old repairs that weren't lined up we were kind of tricking ourselves a little bit and trying to go too far off the original but we've got there it's done um it's clamped in place we've marked it and scribed the line all we need to do is weld it in place but unfortunately we've run out of time john's got to go i'm knackered <laughs> well yeah. i think we've remade the floor panel that um He's done and fitting and looking really good. And we've got the first piece oh, of the long yeah. side. And once this is in place, it's gonna start coming together. Uh, bearing in mind, this has taken us all day to make one panel that we thought was fairly straightforward. Turned out to be a lot more complicated than we'd hoped, but we, we got there, we're there. I hope you've enjoyed watching the struggle. <laughs> <laughs> the fight is real. <laughs> yes, exactly. Don't forget, Ranala Keyrings, ranala.co.uk. The link is in the description below. Well, if you've made it this, to this far, uh, you might have missed them already, but hopefully not. Go and have a look. Hopefully there'll still be some available. All the funds from the keyring purchases will go straight into the Aero Engine project, uh, which there'll be more on soon. Uh, there's been some developments, but uh, until next week, take care. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>